Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about feminine energy and self-improvement topics. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the, another controversial topic about the relationship. Should men approach a woman for a relationship or should a woman approach a man for a relationship? Like you can take it as what is ideal. Like there's so many people talk about that women should never chase after a man. A man should always chase after a woman. What is the thing that you need to do for your relationship if you're single and you're looking for dating somebody or you're interested in somebody what should you do you need to approach them as a woman or as a man or they need to approach you let's talk about that before that give this video a big thumbs up do consider subscribing for more such videos we have a female self-care planner the link is in description if you're interested in taking care of yourself as a female it's a video download the link is in the description anyways so what exactly you need to do if you are a woman, I'm going to talk from the woman point of view because that's based on my own personal experience. I think men point of view, sometimes it's quite obvious that men needs to approach. But when I'm going to talk from the woman point of view, hopefully it will going to be answered from the men point of view as well. Well, let's talk about that. So should a woman allow the man to approach him or should the woman approach the man or should... Uh, woman should never approach a man or a man should always approach a woman for a relationship. What is the ideal? Well, there is nothing ideal. <laughs> if you watch so many YouTube gurus or so many people love gurus, love coaches or everybody talking over the internet, a woman should never chase a man, a man should always chase a woman. You have heard about this thing a lot many times. You need to be play hard to get it. You need to do this and that. You need to be high value woman. You need to dress like that. You need to do the makeup. You need to be like this. You need to act like this. You need to be behave like this. All this. Put all this thing outside your window. Simple. Just be you. If you like somebody, even if you are a woman, if you like somebody, if you're interested in them, go approach that person. Now, I'm not telling you to chase after that person and follow them wherever they are going. No, no, no. Don't be a spy. But... It doesn't hurt to go and tell them that you like them or maybe ask for a date if that's you feel that you want to do it. If you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. But if you feel like it, go and ask and do it. Simple. You don't need to sit back and wait and relax and let his mind read your mind and understand that you like him and then he approach you. <laughs> that thing could work and that thing could not work if it worked amazing but if it didn't work you would be waiting for years and before you know it that guy is with somebody else is with somebody else and then you would lose that person because you were waiting you were sitting around you're relaxing you were thinking that i don't need to ask him for a day i don't need to show interest in him i have too hard to play to get whatever and that woman or that man is now with some other woman because that woman didn't do all those things she was easy to get she was fun and he loves that and now you are like i wasted my time so before you do all that stuff ask yourself what do you want to do simple don't listen to anybody i'm telling you don't take advice from anybody of course you can watch videos you can watch my videos you can listen to other people you can do that all that stuff but at the end of the day decide decision needs to be yours it shouldn't be influenced by anybody else no you choose what you want from your relationship you choose what is ideal for you what is good for you what makes you happy you decide you choose because this life is too short if you're doing everything based on what other people is expecting you to do or what other guru is telling you to do that it may work for you but it may not be working for you because those people are giving basically the general advice and general advice is not catered to any individual specific situation or person nature it's general so if you're consuming the general advice use a filter and then go deep dive meditate on the topic and listen to yourself and feel what do you want to do it doesn't hurt to go and ask a man for a date or talk with him or just show an interest or maybe tell him that you like him it doesn't hurt because what if that person also likes you back what if he is afraid to approach you because he's like 
what if I approach this woman and she said no? Because of course, everybody, everybody hate rejection. Nobody like to be rejected. It's true. It's normal. Everybody is afraid of rejection. So what if the man that you like, you see every single day or once in a year, whatever, likes you back and he is afraid to approach you and you are sitting in relaxing and thinking that he's going to approach you, but he's afraid to approach you because he's like, what if she says no? Because I don't know whether she likes me or not. She never shows any interest in me. So now I don't know whether she likes me or not. What if she doesn't like me? What if she already is with somebody else and I get rejected? And nobody likes to be get rejected. It's simple. So if you feel like you like him, maybe go and talk with him. Just say, if you don't want to be direct with that person, just say it indirectly. I would like to go out with you or maybe we can grab a coffee or maybe we can go out at dinner, whatever. Just show something to that person so that they know that you like them because nobody can read your mind. So you don't need to follow the people advice. Feel what you feel right in the moment and go and do that. You're never going to reject, oh sorry, you're never going to feel regret because you did it and it happened. And one thing you can also see, what if the person that you like is with somebody else? You could stop wasting your time and you look for somebody who also likes you back. So either way, you are, you have everything. Either way, that person, when you approach that person, when you like him, you approach that person, he's like, oh, I like you back. And you go on a date and you build a relationship. Or other way, he doesn't like you, he's with somebody else or he likes somebody else or whatever. Then you can stop wasting your time and you can focus on something or somebody else or whatever that also likes you back. So both the hands, you are benefited. In both the directions, you are benefited. The choice is yours. What do you want to decide? What do you want to do? Or what do you choose? So there is nothing ideal. That's what I can say. It depends on you whether you want to approach a woman or whether you want to approach a man or whether he needs to approach you or whether she needs to approach you. It's not related to gender spe specific anymore. You decide what you want to do. So hopefully you get something out of it. Let me know what you think. It's very controversial topics and I know any, so many people would, would be like, oh, men should always approach a woman. A woman never approach a man. They are in that concept, it works for them, that's amazing. But if it doesn't work for you and you want to approach a man, then go and do that. I'm telling you, go and do that because I did too. Of course, the partner that I'm dating right now, he approaches me, he did everything. But in the relationship, sometimes I ask him before he asks me for something. And that's work. And he's like, I don't need to ask you, you're asking me, that's amazing. Let's go and let's do it. So... I still do that masculine part and that's work. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you get something out of it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Till then take care. Bye guys.